Hey mamas, welcome back to the Mama Lounge. My name is Sarah and in today's video I will be showing you three DIY gift ideas for the holidays. This video is also a collaboration with the lovely Jillian Starling. She is absolutely adorable, you guys. I'm sure you already have checked out her channel, but if not, please stop by. She does mommy lifestyle videos and we'll be doing her three DIY gift ideas as well. Let's jump right into the video. Okay, the first DIY gift is going to be a reindeer ornament. To make the reindeer ornament, you're going to need clear plastic folds, some brown filling, brown pipe cleaners, some red glitter pom-poms, and some googly eyes, and a ribbon of your choice. I picked out some red. And lastly, just some tools, some paint brushes, and items, as well as a hot glue gun. Okay, the first thing you're going to do is remove the top from the bulb and fill in all of the brown filling inside. This does take a little bit of time, but just work with it a little and it will all go in. Once you have all the filling that you want, it's time to decide if you want to write on the bulb or if you want to add in a message. I'm doing both. I'm going to add in this message and just show you um, how to do it. So just print something off that you want to write and then cut it into a little um, rectangle here and just stuff it down in there. And I'm using some tools here to just maneuver the insides and I don't know, just straighten it out a little bit. So. Just put the top right back on and we're going to be doing the antlers using the pipe cleaners. So I'm just going to cut those up and kind of show you how I did the antlers. Obviously you can do it however you like, but this is just how I found that was most easy. Just going to be putting on the eyes and the nose with the hot glue gun. Look how cute he came out. I love it. Okay, time to put the ribbon on. Alright, I'm just going to be cutting like a certain length. I just kind of guesstimated here. And I'm going to be tying a knot and then on top of that a bow. So I wanted to include if you wanted to write on the bulb, I'm using a Sharpie paint marker. I would probably get a thinner one, but it definitely did the job. And I just wrote on there a heart with our last name, and I have also put the date. So this is another option if you didn't want to print anything out and stuff it down inside. You could also do something like this. These are really great gifts for teachers or um, people that influence your children's lives. I just love them. Okay, our next gift will be Christmas Spirit Room Spray. You're going to need water, some witch hazel, a bottle with a spray pump on top, and then also your essential oils of your choice. I'm choosing Christmas Spirit because of the holidays, but you can choose lavender or um, lavender and orange, whatever you prefer. So you're just going to pour the water in and fill it up about one third of the way. And you're going to be putting in the essential oils. I would do about 20 drops. If you're going to mix two different oils, just do 10 of each. Then you're just going to top it off with some witch hazel or you can use some vodka. 
and just give it a good shake all around. And there you have it guys, your DIY room spray. This is really awesome to give in a gift, maybe like a spa basket um, to a friend or even like a mom um, type person, somebody close to you. They would just love this. So I made some tags. I just um, cut it out here using some of these fancy scissors, um, printed this out on my computer, and I'm going to attach it with some burlap. Um, just cutting a little bit here and going to tie it around the nozzle. And then after um, that, I'm going to put on the tag and make sure to do it on the right side so that it won't um, get messed up when you do the knot. And I'm just going to be tying a bow just to make it cute and rustic. And that's it guys. I really, really hope you like this DIY and you can definitely change it up with the essential oils. And this is just a really fun one to do. is our thumbprint bookmark. So, we are gonna do a bookmark, and I just cut out, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. I first printed this out, this is size 22, and then this I think is like, I don't know, 15, and printed it out, cut it out, and then I measured some like cardstock paper and cut that out. Okay. So, to make a bookmark. So you're gonna wanna leave room for a hole there, and then I'm gonna do thumbprint, thumbprint from Zach and Zoe. Or maybe not, but they're gonna be red hearts. Then we're going to laminate this with my laminator, and, or before that actually, I'm gonna put probably some of these, maybe just like on the edges, like cover this and, sp oh, I have this. Ooh. Spray some of this and just a little bit of this and um, then laminate it. That is what we are going to do, and I have Zach and Zoe here helping me out, so let's get started on that. First, I'm going to spray a little adhesive glue on the back of the saying, and then just paste it right on the bookmark, making sure to leave a little room on the top and the bottom. All right, and grab a kit. I'm doing one tiny drop of the paint in red, and I'm using a little sponge tool, and I'm going to just paint this right on my son's finger so that it's not too thick because you do want to see um, the thumbprint uh, on the paper. So I'm just going to stamp it one way, move the card and stamp it the other way so that it looks like a heart. Next up is my two year old. <laughs> she did not know how to make a thumbs up and uh, I was trying to show her, but yeah, we got it. So yeah, just again, stamp and stamp it one way and then move the card and stamp it the other way. go guys there's some thumbprint hearts to add to your bookmark all right next up is some glitter I'm just going to use some of the chunky glitter and the thin glitter so I'm spraying a little adhesive on the top and just sprinkling it um, on the top area in doing the exact same with the chunkier ones so it kind of looks like textured Next, I'm going to be laminating. I'm just going to slide my bookmark in all the way up and press down. All these glitters do need to stick down, so you do kind of have to work with it if you're using chunky glitter, but it does work. And then I fed it through my Polaroid laminator and it turned out perfect, you guys. I went ahead and punched a hole at the top in the middle and I'm going to be just measuring out some ribbon here. I did double it up so that it would be kind of more flowy at the top. And then I'm going to put in 
the ribbon just like this and make a loop and then feed it through the loop and pull up just so it gets that flat effect. And then I'm going to be tying a little knot in the back just to secure it. wanted to show you what it would look like inside a book. This is my new Erin Condren planner for 2018. I have a link below if you want to get one, but it fits perfect. It's so cute and I cannot wait to give it to the grandparents. I'm going to be making a few more of these. So I hope you guys liked my DIYs and are having a very merry vlogmas. Make sure to stop over at Jillian's channel and check out her DIYs that she's doing as well. Thank you so much for watching you guys. I hope you enjoyed these DIYs and that you try some of them out for yourself. Make sure to subscribe before you leave and leave me a comment letting me know if you're going to try one or which one was your favorite. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.